Thank you, Nigel. And uh, I can confirm it's actually true. Um, the entire product team has not slept in about a year. We've been so busy building new product. <laughs> So today, in, in just a few minutes, I'm going to walk you through some of the massive investments that we're making in publisher technology. You're also going to hear from Eric Hoffert, the head of our video initiative, on some of the amazing advancements that we're making in the video space. He's actually going to speak and actually demo some of the, the new video features of our platform. But first, before we do that, I want to take a quick look back at the last six months, because the last six months have been truly transformative for a publisher business at AppNexus. Now, just six months ago, you heard Brian um, speak about the, the AppNexus Publisher Suite. We announced the, the AppNexus Publisher Suite last November, and this was a massive undertaking for us. We spent several years and about $250 million building, acquiring, and integrating the different pieces of the suite. And I'm happy to say that since the launch of the, the Publisher Suite, we've seen amazing demand in the market, more than, far more than our own expectations. It's been truly amazing. We've seen early great successes on Publisher Suite. You just heard Alexi speak about that as well. But I think it's important to note that we haven't actually stopped. Since the, the launch of the Publisher Suite, we've actually accelerated investment in the, in the Publisher Suite. In the last six months alone, we've launched over 50 new major features. And these are not small features. Many of these are industry-leading features, like viewable deals and viewable guarantees. The, the development velocity is truly amazing. And I'd like to take a quick note, because there's a massive effort underway with our, all of our engineering teams, and talk a little bit about what happens behind the scenes. Now, I sat down with our head of publisher engineering um, in preparation for this talk, and I was surprised to hear that we've actually released our ad serving platform 344 times since the beginning of this year, since Janu just since January. And that's, I think, truly exceptional in this space. We release software in a very different way than other companies. We release at a far greater, far more rapid rate. And this allows us to develop new features much, much faster. But it also creates improved platform stability, because we're actually able to adjust and adapt to issues as they come up and really shape the platform to meet the needs of our customers' business. So this is truly amazing development velocity, more than I've ever seen in my entire professional career at any company before. So I'd like to say a few words about what we have in store over the next few months. So we're really focused on four key areas of publisher technology. The first is monetization. We will always be focused on making publishers as much money as possible. We're going to talk about the specific things that we're doing in one moment. Secondly, we're making a massive investment into video technology. And rather than speak about it, you're actually going to see some of the investments that we've made when Eric gets up on stage. Third, we're investing heavily into mobile and native. So we're incrementally improving here, but we're also releasing some new game-changing features, things like mobile price check. And last but not least, we're focused on identity, being able to identify users regardless of the device they're using. So whether I'm using my phone, my, la my laptop, or a tablet, we want to be able to identify users in a privacy-safe way across different devices. So let's take a look at what each of these means. So monetization, we're focused on three key things. So first, we are focused on improving yield, on making smarter yield decisions across all of a publisher's sales channels. So we believe that using the YieldX forecasting technology, we can make smarter allocation decisions that helps publishers make more money by allocating their inventory in smarter ways across their direct sales, private marketplaces, and open exchange. And some of the early results from this have been truly phenomenal. We've seen double digit, in many cases, 20 or 30, even 40% improvements in yield. Secondly, we believe firmly in a policy of openness at AppNexus. And part of this is that we want to provide access to every possible source of demand to publishers. And in, in doing that, we are deeply integrating support for header bidding directly into our ad server. And this provides operational efficiency, but also provides yield benefits to publishers using header bidding. And third, and perhaps the one that I'm most excited about, we're, we're trying to find new ways to create net new value by creating new types of transactions for publishers to add value to both buyers and sellers. These are things like viewable deals and viewable guarantees. It's truly a case where one plus one really does equal three. So we're creating net new value. 
Now, on video, I'm going to keep this very short, because you're about to see some of the, the amazing progress that we're making when Eric gets up on stage. But suffice to say that in the first half of this year, we've been very focused on our video SSP um, offering for both in-stream and out-stream formats. In the second half of this year, we're really focused on building out video ad-serving features. We want to provide a robust set of video ad-serving features into our platform and really be a world-class video ad server by the end of this year. On mobile, we're continually making progress. We're incrementally improving the platform capabilities of, of our system. But the really big announcement here is the launch of AppNexus Mobile Price Check, which we announced earlier this year. While this is still a beta offering, we believe that this could be truly revolutionary for mobile app publishers. This is effectively header bidding for mobile app. And you heard Brian speak about this. It's a little snippet of code. You put it into an app. You can call it any time to get back a price for any impression. We'll offer to pay that price to acquire that impression. But the reason why we think this is so, so adds so much value for mobile app publishers is really an alternative to traditional waterfall-based mediation which is, creates a very poor user experience for users. And it's also a very poor um, way of implementing monetization for publishers as well. And I mentioned identity. We're focused on it, being able to identify users in a privacy-safe way, regardless of the type of device that they're doing. We're really doing three things to enable better identity um, capabilities. The first is that we're enabling publishers to use their own data. So if you're a publisher and you have logged in users, we want to enable you to use your logged in data to target users across different devices. Secondly, we're experimenting, we're in the early phases of experimenting with some new models of cooperation across publishers. We're experimenting right now in the Australian market with this. It's actually live. Publishers are using it. We're starting to see very good early results of this. This is something that we'd love to speak with you about if you have logged in data and are interested in cooperating with other publishers. And lastly, about a year ago, we acquired a company called MediaGlue, which specializes in statistical models to match users across different devices. We've been hard at work integrating the MediaGlue technology deeply into the AppNexus platform. And we'll have more to say on that soon. Now, before I hand it over to Eric, I just wanted to say a few quick words about ad blocking. You know that in, ad, in Europe, ad block rates are very high, and this is probably at the top of many of your minds. It's also something that we take extremely seriously at AppNexus. And our, our goal for this year was really to experiment with different possible solutions for ad blocking. And while I think it's too soon to, to, to speak about specifics of what we have in mind, we'd love to speak with you. We're actually testing out some new technologies in market. We'd love to speak with you if you are interested in working with us and partnering with us. Mm -hmm.